Hello, gentle viewers, and welcome to another episode of Alistair Reviews It. And today, we're reviewing the final episode of WandaVision. <laughs> this is the ninth episode in the season or series. I don't know, it's called the, uh, the series finale, but there's been talks of maybe having another season, so hopefully... We'll see. Um, we did. We actually did a live stream. So we're filming this Friday night um, on the day that the episode came out. And we actually just got done doing a watch along, a live watch along on Alistair's channel with uh, some of y'all. And it was it was yep. great. Um, we <laughs> we usually wake up and watch the episode right when it, like, not right when it comes out, but like 5 a.m. our time, Central Standard Time. And then... Uh, Today we slept in. <laughs> Today... <laughs> We knew we were going to be doing this live watch along, so we waited all day until like 8 p.m. Central Standard Time to watch this freaking episode. And do you know how hard it was to keep like away from Twitter and away from all of WandaVision spoilers? Because you have WandaVision fans and viewers waking up at 3 a.m. And, and tweeting immediately, like live tweeting, get it everything. So that's why it's good it to was, get it in the morning <laughs> so that you can like get away from all that. It was really challenging. Um, but we did it and we watched it and it was emotional and it was slightly funny and it was it was just a fantastic episode. I loved it. So there's a lot of discourse right now in there on online about people um, being disappointed that some fan theories that and not were very I'm just saying people. Yes. Being disappointed that some fan theories that everybody was really just pushing on. And I think there was some hinting towards I I definitely think that there was arguments towards some of these fan theories Mephisto um, <laughs> but they didn't actually get realized at least not at, in the last episode of WandaVision yeah again there's a lot of discussion about whether the fan theories kind of ruined the show or not because it created all of this level of it created this level of hype and expectation right that um, you know I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people did expect Mephisto to kind of show up at the end of this or for this ending to kind of set up um, the next part of, of the MCU in a, in a really big and spectacular way. And it kind of did. But as far as fan theories, none of those really came true. Um, it, it, it's, it's funny because the other day, uh, Zachary and I were talking. He was like, yeah, Mephisto is definitely not, not a thing. Not going to happen at all. And then we watched a fan theory. And he's like, yes, definitely Mephisto's, like, Mephisto's in there. Mephisto is going to be in this episode. <laughs> and he wasn't. And that's okay. Here's the thing about fan theory. This is, this is okay. So let's let's kind of talk about the series as a whole real quick. I loved the week-to-week -week format. I feel like the week-to-week -week format really did open up and allow for a bunch of positive just positivity like positive viewing experience among the fans it's, and it's 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 something that as a society weirdly enough yeah. we used to be very used to doing stuff like that um but we've gotten into sort of a binge streaming ness yeah. which i love too i really do um and it felt like i i think right now like uh, other shows that feel like it i I would say more reality shows feel like this, <laughs> um, which is it's, it, it, it's, it's funny because you're like Big Brother or yeah. Survivor or any other re uh, other reality shows that happen all the time, and they you know they have the, you have this discourse online on Twitter and stuff like that, um, and then you also had the same thing kind of with Game of Thrones before season yeah. eight. It was pretty amazing to be able to engage with people like this and everybody speculate, and it just becomes like the entire world not talking about shitty things sorry not talking about bad things and talking about like fan theories yeah which is fun and what happens with with a binge watching show like when a show is put out put out all at once is that you know there's a, a, it's talked about for a week or two you know it's a hot topic for a week or two and then it's done this has been a consistent eight weeks after every single episode there's so much conversation about the show that it, it's just become so successful and i would love to see what the numbers look like on the Disney exactly. Plus end because i feel like they would probably be really high and i wonder if they brought that this show brought in a lot of new subscribers to disney plus because it really is even if like like, for me, when we started these reviews, I was very upfront. I said, I am the casual, like, superhero fan. I probably, if I was not married to him, I don't know if I would watch it. Um, 
Uh, but like, even for people who have not watched a single thing of the MCU, they have had to have seen some of the conversation going on about the show. It probably piqued a lot of people's interest exactly. and they started watching it. And so I, I think the format was fantastic. I think it, it worked really well. And um, it would, it, it's kind of nice to return to shows like this. I, I feel like some shows are great to binge watch, but when you have a full episode to kind of digest for a week, a whole week, you know, you, you catch a lot more and there's a lot more conversation about things like that, that things that wouldn't have been there, you know, no, 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 I, I agree, and I, I think it's it's something to talk about yeah. in terms of. Uh, I, I am also really curious about how much uh, this show has been streamed because you have normal shows where you'll just binge it all at once and not usually go back to it because all your questions are answered, you yeah. know, while you're actually watching the show. But for this one, I can even speak for us. We'll watch. We watched it for. We'll watch the first watch for our enjoyment. And then we'll watch the second watch for notes. And then maybe even we'll watch the third. I think at least with two episodes, we watched it three times yeah. uh, just to make sure everything was good. And that's three watch times. Yeah. You know, like it, 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 it definitely multiplies. And I'm curious to see whether that reflects in terms of uh, numbers. numbers. But I know that Disney Plus doesn't disclose those numbers, at least not yet. Um, we'll see in the future. But... I really love this diagonal. Uh, I've re really loved all this dialogue that we've had. I've really loved all this discourse and this era for us. This has been an excellent era for us. It feels like, and it's at the beginning of 2021, you know, sets off 2021 on a good foot. And it, it felt like I, we found this like sense of community with everybody. And I just love talking about it with everybody. And I'm hoping that the, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier would be the kind of the same. Um, but I just feel like this was such a special, so this really, truly, WandaVision was something special. And, and, what and a, I don't, I, I mean, you, I don't want to speak prematurely, but I feel like it's not going to be beat for a very long time. I, I hope you're wrong, but also, I, I, I don't think, I, I don't think I like to think of it in a way that it won't be beat. I like to think of it in a way that it has its own beat. Um, <laughs> <You're so funny. laughs> but we also have to keep in mind, we have been starved of Marvel, uh, of really the Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe for a while now because of all the delays with COVID. Yeah. And now we have WandaVision. So I think that also worked in its favor because everybody kind of wanted to go back. Everybody kind of wanted to be a part of this. And yeah. um, I, I'm glad that we were a part of it. And, you know, regarding fan theories, I think that's great. It added to the discourse. It was really fun trying to come up with our own theories and uh, – try to figure out what was going to happen next. But ultimately, people need to remember to manage your expectations. Remember that they're not making the show week to week as we're watching it. This is a, a made show. It's been written. It's been filmed. It's been put together. It's done. And they already had the story that they wanted to make. It's made now. So our fan theories really don't mean anything, really. You know, it's just speculation and theorizing. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, hold on, and, and and manage expectations. I think that that's a very important message, um, because ultimately this was a story. This was Wanda's story. You know, it was her story, her moving through her own grief, grief. and trauma, and coming to this ultimate conclusion, almost like an origin story. Like we already saw her, you know, kind of introduction to the MCU back in Age of Ultron, but this was even more so kind of like an origin story to the Scarlet Witch. And it was just done so well, I feel. I beautifully, feel like, beautifully. I feel like in terms of handling trauma and handling everything that it did take on, it. I loved how they did it. You know, I didn't need thinking on it i don't think i needed some big setup to the rest of the what's going to happen i like it being like a storybook and then we're able to get to the last page and close the book you know actually she has the dark hold open it's still at the end of the end yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the end of the end oh. but um uh, well let's uh, let's talk about the episode now yeah um and so first we have the first confrontation so we pick up exactly where we left off yeah in the last episode um, where <laughs> they, they really, yeah. Wanda's still in her little, her little, uh, hoodie. Hoodie. <laughs> She's like, I actually had a red hoodie on almost wore, but she, yeah. she, she has her hoodie on and then she has the, the twins are leashed by Agatha. Yeah. And Wanda's like, I can use my powers now. And then Agatha's like, I'm counting on it. Boom. Yeah. 
boom, and tries to, and tries she to, goes down. She like blasts her, but this is what. So this is what most of the episode is is about: is Agatha really egging Wanda on, pushing all of her buttons, and really trying to get Wanda to use her power on Agatha. Because as Wanda uses her power on Agatha. Agatha is able to absorb that power, just like Into in the herself. previous episode when the Coven attacked Agatha, Agatha was able to absorb all of their powers. And so she wants the powers of the Scarlet Witch. And you can see the first time she launches this power at her, yeah. she falls. It's really cool the way she gets up. But then Wanda's hand starts to decay. Yeah. And um, then Wanda's like, well, okay, then I'm just going to throw a Buick at her. And then <laughs> you, I was like, absorb the Buick. Who, <laughs> I wonder who on set's idea was like, hey, you know, let's just put her boots underneath the thing. I don't know. Buick, Buick <laughs> I loved have, it. Must have sent an email. Hey, um, we noticed that Wanda likes to throw cars. Um, <laughs> you want a Buick to throw? We'll give you one. Well, it, 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 I, 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 but the the boots underneath was like oh the tribute to like a Wizard of Oz to Wizard of Oz because yeah. they're all witches loved, loved it uh, loved I think it. Catherine Hahn in this episode is so great you know we really got a taste of her her true character in the last episode but in this episode we really like she's a whole other character you know she really is like her acting and this is a testament to her acting ability she really is a whole other character than she has been this entire series well it, and it's the way she acts it too yeah. she acts her she acts agatha out in a duality way like yeah. i never understand whether she's sincere oh, whether she's I good I whether can, she's I bad um I can tell when she's act when when Catherine Hahn is acting like Agatha is acting, you know. When Agatha, well, is oh, okay, yeah. Acting, the, like, yeah there's a couple is, moments like that. I can tell because. Yeah. But we are also introduced to White Vision, who comes up to, uh, to Wanda, and he says Wanda in his uh, in the Paul Bettany yeah. voice. That's just like perfect. It's just like so full, and she's like, oh my gosh. Vision and she's emotional. And she's like, and then is this really you? And so all of her guards come down, her walls come down. I, when I saw Vision, the white Vision walk up, I was, I was like, ah. it's like, no, I didn't want a confrontation. This is like your, this is like, this is like if I died and my corpse came to you, but I was like an evil zombie, and like you see me, it. and you're like, this is my love, and then I'm like, no, I love that her face. I and then whatever sound effects that they're using, I thought her head was about to like explode. Well, Vision, the well, not the real Vision, but the the realer Vision comes out of nowhere and the realer Vision. What do we call that Vision? Wanda's Vision. Okay, we're just gonna call it vi them Vision and White Vision. That's, vision and White Vision. That's how perfect. we're gonna separate we're gonna them. Do that. So Vision and White Vision. So uh, Vision comes yeah. uh, and saves Wanda. And, and knocks and White then, Vision out, and like, uh, and, and so basically, what we've got here now, um, that we have this little quick confront, uh, quick little moment between Wanda and Vision, and Wanda says, um, she Wanda, apologizes. She apologizes. She has this moment where she apologizes to him, and and she says, um, this is our home, and let's Vision, and it's it. from the it's from the trailer, and Vision says, well then let's fight for it. Oh, I <laughs> loved it. <laughs> Um, Every little moment in this, not a line of dialogue wasted except for Ralph Boner, but we'll get there. Um. <laughs> and, well, and at this point, you kind of have everybody like separate a little bit. Yeah. Where you have the visions going off and doing their Vision own thing. Versus what? Vision. Uh, Wanda versus Agatha. Yeah. And then we get a little peek in at Monica versus Pietro, which isn't as exciting as I thought thought it would it have would, been you know the, the way they said let's it talk about that for a second the, kind of the the end credit scene i expected it to be set up a little bit better i thought that i thought that fiatro was going to team up with wanda but so fiatro is really just a guy named ralph boner who is um being controlled by agatha he's got this like little bead necklace um and as he wears the bead necklace it's controlling him and so he's maybe got giving his, him powers i'm got, not sure he's maybe got powers because of that and basically he's just a normal guy named ralph boner he's been living in the bewitched house which has been agatha's home so agatha just came into his house and and took over um and monica has this little tussle with him re reveals his true identity ralph boner they make it. They try to make that a joke in, in the show, and it's just I really okay. okay I I understood that it, for <laughs> many people it played out flat, and I was like, oh, this is gonna play out flat when I, when they were saying it. But then I googled, and I was like, oh, they got me. I know they. Got me. <laughs> I was like, I, what? I, have what? To say, they, they, I, I did a little giggle, giggle. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was like, why? <laughs> why this is such bad comedy? But I I laughed anyways. Um, but and, that was cool between them. So this yeah. is like really. One of the first times we've seen Monica kind of use her powers to like take 
Fietro down. Yeah, and so Monica does take Fietro down, and Fietro at that point, it's like, I guess this is Evans Peter, Evan Peters is done in the MCU at this point, and uh, Monica escapes, yep. and she, she takes off, and you know, there wasn't a whole lot for Monica to do in this episode either, there there were moments, I feel, but like, I feel yeah. like they kind of built her character up a lot more in the show than what she got in the series finale. I, I have to agree, well, I, I expected the series finale to be a little bit longer, and I think that they could have made it a little bit longer yeah. and added a couple more fight sequences, even just between, between fake Pietro, fake Pietro and uh, Monica. But then we have um, the sword portion, uh, the with the director being all evil, and he's like, oh, there's no proof. Uh, we deleted all the footage or whatever. Yeah, it like. and, it, uh, and, and, you know, we're set to eliminate Wanda Maximoff. Uh, if only, and then he, he tells Jimmy Woo, if only you had a little bit more vision. Well, I, <laughs> so I was like, really? I'm just, <laughs> I was like, I, I, I there's some cliche. Every length. time I see Jimmy Woo on the, on the screen, I can just stare at his teeth. Everybody in the show has such great teeth. And like Jimmy Woo's like smile and teeth is just like, give me, call, let me call your dentist. Um, let me call your dentist. <laughs> but okay. No, so, so Jimmy Woo basically, um, uh, he's he's like tied up, and so he like sneaks the phone off, and they lock him in some like little barn area. Oh, he or does sneak the phone off. I was wondering where the phone came from. Yeah, he will. He, he he. They lock him in a little barn area, and he gets himself out of the handcuffs, and he calls with magic. What, who does he call? Who is it that he calls? Well, he, he um, calls Quantico, Quantico to get the other FBI because he's like, hey, you know, the FBI are going to yeah. be here within an hour, and then he calls, hey, can you be here in here within an hour? And I was like, ah, this is my job. <laughs> this, yeah. this, so, this is what I do. And so that's really Jimmy Woo's big moment. Um, see, see. I understand that this episode was wrapped. This is why it should have been longer is because we, we build up all of these characters and I understand that the entire series was Wanda's story, but we did build up all these characters spent we did, a lot yeah. of time with a lot of these characters and a lot of these characters didn't really have very big moments in, in the this end. episode, you know, and I feel like they deserved a little bit bigger. Like, so, I, I, I feel like even if you would have just spent yeah. 10 more minutes on all of these side characters mm -hmm. i think that would have satisf satisfied all, us a lot more with that i'm very satisfied with wanda's storyline yeah well wanda i'm satisfied with vision storyline i'm satisfied satisfied with the twins at this point mm -hmm. um but like with Mo monica jimmy woo and darcy but i i think we're also promised more of them darcy the really future. got shafted in this one yeah she, she really just ended up she, she yeah we'll, we'll get to that part but basically so wanda goes to oh, the, the town square <laughs> <laughs> so Wanda uh, goes to Town Square. She's looking for Agatha. Agatha standing on like a building, and they have this like little back and forth. Basically, so Wa Agatha is telling Wanda all about herself, all about the Scarlet Witch and the Dark uh, Hole. She has the Dark Hole, this magical book, which I want a replica of. By the way, I really want a replica of this Dark Hole book, which and comes from the Marvel Universe, the comics, but is actually directly related to the agents of shield yeah. show and i've noticed noticed a lot of tie-ins with agents of shield in in this show so i just want to mention that well when, when the dark hold is open we see like a like a picture of like wanda's um like in the last episode where Wanda kind of saw the future after she touched the Mind Stone and she saw herself. Like a figure of her. Yeah, a figure yeah. of herself. We kind of see that in the book. And so um, Agatha, I didn't say no words on that page, but Agatha was reading the book and saying, this is what the, the, she knows her this is what the Scarlet Witch is. This is what she does. She's more powerful than... Uh, than the Sorcerer Supreme. Which is... Is it Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange, yeah, yeah Doctor Strange. Okay. I don't know why I paused for a second. <laughs> I was leading you in, baby. Uh, <laughs> and so they have this little back and forth, and we kind of hear what the Scarlet Witch and, is. And, and she's like, you're a homeschooled witch. Well, she yeah. doesn't say you're a homeschooled yeah, witch, but, but she basically uh, says it. And Wanda is just like, I am not a witch. I have never been taught magic. Um... And, and we're really, like, you know, Agatha is is giving her all of this information, but... It's like, you're more powerful than Sorcerer Supreme and yeah, the Supreme. Like, why is she giving her all of this information if she's really just trying to absorb that power? Just, like, just cut to the chase and start absorbing that Yeah, I, I, well, who, know, who knows? Maybe really there's a longer game that we us. don't... Yeah, the explanation is good for us. I, I, I do think it yeah. probably serves us more than it serves other people. Um, and then... Uh, Agatha decides to cut the puppet strings. Is how cut she the puppet it. screen st strings first yeah. with Dottie. So I felt like uh, Dottie's I, back. Uh, but this is how she's uh, back. A, a lot of people, I think, yeah. and I, I've I've looked up after uh, we we talked about it on the live. Uh, seem to be very disappointed by the fact that one Dottie wasn't on the what, the board of missing people. Um, and it. it 
everybody was alluding, including Emma Caulfield, it felt like a little bit, that Dottie was going to be a lot bigger than she was. And I was hoping that Dottie was going to be a lot bigger. I didn't, you know, I didn't think she was. I thought she'd like, be another people, witch People or were something. saying, like, Game of Frost or something, but I thought she was going to be a witch, is what I thought Wait, was going to Somebody said was, in the live stream that she's... Oh, yeah. they, 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 they sent me the name of the witch, sorry. I thought that she was going to be a witch that... Uh, Arcana Jones. Yeah, I thought she was going to be a witch that maybe was, like, a descendant of one of the Coven members. In the, be- in the beginning of the last episode. Um, but she's she's just Sarah. She was just a, a resident of Westview whose mind was taken over and she was, you know, um, put under this mind control by Wanda. Her name is actually Sarah and she her daughter's, she, like, been locked away in her room and so she's, like, begging to see her daughter. And um, oh, she, I, I still think Emma played her lines beautifully. She was like, um, she, she could be friends with your kids. Uh, she could yeah. even be a bully if that works well for the storyline. She's like, just and let me see like, my daughter. Oh uh, my gosh. It was and it was really good. It was a really great moment where, because um, then Agatha starts cutting the puppet strings of everybody else around her. And, and so, they're all so ungrateful. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, mind control, man. You like, know, do that to me it. any day. I would love to live. <laughs> do that. Well, I mean, Wanda is faced with the reality of what she's been doing. You know, she's kind of known throughout the series what she's been doing, but she's kind of like, anytime she's been faced with it, she like shuts it off. You know, she's like, no, I don't want to think about that. No, 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 no. But now she's faced with it because she has all these people coming up to her and they're like, they're like, please, um, tell my tell my family not to come here. Tell my family like I love them and stuff like that. And it's all these people, and she can't deal with the pain that she's caused onto other people. And we learned that not only is she like controlling them with her mind, she's she's uh, whenever they go to sleep, they have her nightmares. They can feel her pain. Like they are all of her trauma is projected onto all of these people. So I'm I'm curious. So uh, while I was watching it, I wasn't sure if that was exactly true. Because I think it was. I, I don't because think because it, it could it, it could have been Agatha. I don't you know? think Agatha was. I mean, it could be. I'm I don't just, think she was. I think Agatha's but, pretty truthful for the most part in this. You know, um, yeah. And so I think I think it, this was Wanda's doing. I, I just think it could have been Agatha all along. <laughs> okay. Okay. So and she starts choking all of the the citizens, and then she's like. What, what was it like Agatha saying that you shouldn't be tortured heroes don't torture people and she's like oh, yeah. oh no and then she like stops choking everybody and then starts pushing the force field apart that like the hex apart a little, uh, on the sides and she starts telling them run 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 well this is where we get <laughs> Wanda Moses parting the red force field I have it written down my nose like that parting, really? parting the red force field is what it looked like and she's basically like so she's holding she, she's ripping apart the force field and she's telling all of the residents go ahead you're free you're free and everybody starts running and uh sword all of all of their like trucks and everything like race into the hex so that they and they they drive up to like the town center where wanda is and um as as this is happening vision and vision are also vision and white vision are, are fighting in the sky but as the hex starts to open up vision is being pulled apart by it because he only exists within the hex. And so he goes hurling to the ground. Um, Wanda sees that he's coming apart. Then the twins come up and she sees that mm-hmm. they're coming apart too. And it's her family. And Agatha's really like, hey, you know, your family doesn't exist without this hex. You know, it's 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 the people of Westview or your family. It's incredible. So Wanda closes the hex really fast. I Honestly, I was thinking, well, just let the people go to like the edge of the hex. Um, open it really fast. And then close it, and then like oh, yeah, yeah, and then you got you got your whole town, you know, you yeah, and your family. And they, and they didn't appreciate the town, anyways. <laughs> um, uh, but but that was a gorgeous scene. I, I thought so. It, it's just it was the reality of like what's going to happen is very apparent here. You know, we know what's going to happen to Vision and the kids, and it's, it's so heartbreaking because uh, they don't exist exist outside of the Hicks. Um, and so then we get this moment where, like. Agatha's attacking uh, Wanda, and Wanda does this sort of, like, Incredibles, you know, esque force field, and, like, she does this force field, but Agatha's able to to absorb that power, and it's a big deal of power, and, like, Wanda is wasting away. She's big, you know, she's, our whole body's decaying as she's giving more and more of her power to Agatha. Um, so then we have, you know, the family, our magical family here, uh, going up against everybody, you know? We have to do Wanda versus... Agatha, Vision versus White Vision again, and 
the, the boys versus the military. <laughs> I love how they throw the kids against the military. Well, and then before this, we have this excellent shot. I feel like of all the of the family, like kind of getting into their fighting poses. Yeah, and uh, they it was like Wanda and Vision say, "Listen, guys, uh, your mother and I never pre prepared you for this." And then Wanda's like, "But you were born for this." I mean, because really, and, like, like, yeah, just, and she's like, "Take take the military, uh, B Billy and Tommy." And then Billy and Tom. Tommy d does their eyes or whatever controls them. And Billy disarms them. And then uh, Wanda and Agatha separate and Vision and Vision separate. Question. Why didn't the twins age up here? Isn't this a good time to age up? No, I... They should be adults. I don't know. I don't think so. Against I, the military? Uh, they were able to take him out. I mean, they were. They were. They, they were like, like simple. Were, like it would make yeah. sense if they were going to, up against like Agatha or Vision, but mm -hmm. like really the military. So I expected a little bit more um, between the Vision fight. The you know, Vision on Vision. Vision on Vision. Um, I thought that a little bit more was going to happen. It was going to be a little bit more of a battle, but then they end up going. And I did actually really like this as well as they end up going into a, uh, a kind of discussion instead of a fight. Well, yeah, where Vision is trying to make White Vision understand who he is, which I think made sense for their characters. Yeah. I guess uh, because they're very logical because yeah. they're fighting in a library. Love the visuals, and um, uh, while they're fighting the, in, in the library, he's uh, the White Vision says, "My mandate is to kill Vision." He's like, and then Vision's like, "I'm not Vision." And then, uh, I other vision, your and the, vision, and the white vision is like, explain. And then they have this like twinsy moment or whatever, and they start talking about a ship and a how, ship. like, if a ship starts to decay and loses its boards, and then those boards get replaced with new boards that are not rotting, is the ship still the same ship? Is the question. And vision is like, the ship is not the same ship, but the but ship is also the same. Is also the same ship. And I'm I'm just like yeah, that that meme with all like the math equations going around her and stuff. Yeah, that is it. Because you have vision, the body right yeah. there, and then you have vision, the mind stone portion of vision. And when you think of it like that, it makes so much more sense because this is the real vision, but then this is like Wanda's memories of vision. You know, like this vision that Wanda has. Um, that Wanda has created doesn't even have those same memories that the real Vision has. And so the Vision helps White Vision to regain all of his memories, um, tap into that like little part, because he's, he's a robot, so tap he's into that. He's a synthesoid. Taz, yeah, to, to pass in, uh, tap into that, um, I don't know, whatever file is, is within him that yeah. uh, holds all those memories, and he, he remembers everything, and then he goes flying up into the air, and then that's the last that we see of him. His eyes change too from the really cool blue to the like almost very much humanoid portion yeah. of it. Yeah. And I think that it's Vision kind of finding himself because this entire season has been about dealing with the loss of Vision. Yeah. And I think at this point, Vision might be dealing with the loss of Vision, you know? And he well, escaped. He, well, he leaves at least for the rest of the episode. Wouldn't see him again. Yeah. I, I did think there was, I thought there was going to be another moment between. Wanda and Vision again, like re Vision. reuniting. Yeah, because it's White Vision right now. I hope we don't stay with White Vision. I hope he like. Ch I like his other colors better. I like the green and red. No, know? I, I agree. Um, I think it's a phase. <laughs> <laughs> Whiteness is a phase. <laughs> it's like it's like a goth phase, but instead of it's like. <laughs> and so Wanda versus Agatha, this big blowout boss battle, fight. this boss fight, final boss fight that we you know we've been building up to. So the boss fight starts out with uh, Wanda actually doing her old trick and uh, going into Agatha's kind of nightmare yeah. mind portion. But then Agatha throws it back on her and all the witches are like, you the Scarlet Witch, you got to die. Yeah, it was, that was, uh, it was good. It was good. But then I, we, I we, we, we immediately come back. So like uh, Wanda going after Agatha just didn't work. Now they're fighting in the sky of Westview. This, all gorgeous, the clouds are gorgeous. red and like all of the effects are so great in this that it, it's just, it, it is a fantastic, like spectacular scene to watch. Um, love me some witches. Love me a witch fight. And they're, they're really battling it out here. And Wanda, basically, Agatha's like, just give me your power. Take your burden off you. And Wanda's like, then take it, my power. And she's just throwing blast after blast of power at, at Agatha. Um, 
And she's like, we think that she's throwing it all at Agatha, but she's hitting the walls of the hexagon too. And I'm like, she's just missing. And I thought this, she was just emotional. And she just, you know, maybe other people thought this was going to happen, knew this was going to happen. I didn't. It was a genuine surprise for me. And um, Agatha absorbs all of Wanda's power. And Wanda just decays into this corpse-like thing. She's just floating in the sky. It's this really sad image. Red eyes. And as Agatha's about to blast Wanda, she doesn't have any power. She can't use the power. She can't use Wanda's power. And we realized that Wanda was blasting runes onto the walls of the Hex. Because, as Agatha said earlier, what Wanda lacked was knowledge. And now Wanda... The one thing that Wanda does know about witches is that only the witch who casts the runes can use the magic. What, not only that, because earlier uh, we didn't really cover it so much. But Wanda does the snap and teleport yeah. that Agatha did... In the last episode. So all she's learning... So, so yes. Agatha is like inadvertently teaching Wanda. Yeah. She, tricks she, against she, herself. She learned... Yeah. She's obviously showing that she's a very quick yeah. learner. And then I think Agatha kind of gets ahead of herself by monologuing too much. Uh, she, she, <laughs> it's uh, always... Yeah. They, they, they always trip themselves up with a... With a, with a well, it, a monologue, right? And, and she was like, the world you made will always be broken, just like you. Yeah. Wanda's, and then she had performance yeah. issues. <laughs> Agatha's got some really great lines in this episode, just a couple that we've we've missed. Um, when Vision and White Vision show up, and they're fighting for the first time in front of Wanda, uh, Agatha says, your, your boyfriend and your ex at the same party, who are you going to choose? I thought that was really good. And then there's another one um, uh, that... You know, um, when the military shows up, Agatha says, well, there's a, they're all, there's always, um, or same things, different decade or something like that, um, or different century. There will always be pitchforks and torches oh, yeah. for, for I, I got girls like too. us. And I thought that was great. Great uh, line. But, uh, so because Wanda, good. Um, well, I, I was just going to say that Agatha, during the entire thing, she's alluding to how the spell for Westview, which I noticed just this episode has the same initials as WandaVision. But, you just um, noticed that? Yes, oh I just noticed goodness. this episode. But um, a- anyways, that the spell of Westview is broken or whatever and that she can fix it. Yeah. And that if uh, uh, Wanda gives her the powers, then she'll just fix it and, and leave her alone or whatever yeah. in this world that she's created. But she reveals that that's not actually what she would have done. Yeah. And then when the runes thing comes on, then then uh, Wanda starts absorbing the... Uh, the power back. Scarlet Witch power back into herself and starts having like a Sailor Moon moment. She does have a Sailor Moon moment. Which she's oh, like, it's so she's good. Like, there's a bunch of like clouds around her and magic and like we barely see her. But then we see the... Because earlier um, we see for the first time that her crown starts to come in. Oh, yes. Her magic crown. About that. It's just like little... Looks like little strands of like red tinsel kind of around her head. And it's her, her magic crown. But now when she's having her full Sailor Moon moment, when uh, she's got this really nice crown and she's got this fantastic Wanda outfit. Let's talk about the Wanda. No, it's not even the Wanda outfit. It's, well, the it's Scarlet a Scarlet Witch, Witch outfit. outfit. Because I feel like that's the Wanda Maximoff outfit. This one. And uh, it, fe- it, it felt like yeah. a natural development, natural step up from her, her old yeah. Avengers outfit. Um, do you gorgeous. Notice, <laughs> do you notice that whenever... Uh, a, a witch has her little costume on. She has like crimped hair. <laughs> they, they, they all have the witch hair, and I, I, I liked it. Honestly, I I love the style. Yeah. I love Agatha style, and I, I loved uh, the the Scarlet Witch style. And I actually I, I try to look up who designed the Scarlet Witch outfit, and I could not find out who. There's several articles covering the Scarlet Witch outfit. None of them seem to talk about who well, designed I'm sure, it. I'm sure that's going to come up more in the next week. Um, I hope it's so. It's really just the first day today. Because so, they need credit. Yeah, it, it was such a great... It's, it's a fantastically designed Scarlet Witch outfit, and I absolutely love it. Um, and Wanda takes her power back, gets this big, you know, boss moment, and then instead of, like, hurling... Um, Agatha down towards the ground, she and Agatha just float. gently float to the ground. And Wanda just gently puts her onto the ground. And Agatha's on her knees. Agatha's, you know, saying, you just, you know, you need me. You don't know what you've unleashed. Um, you're going to need me. And Wanda's basically like, well, what's going to happen to you is we're going to turn you into the role that you chose for yourself. 
the, the nosy, nosy neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to stay in Westview and I'm going to turn you into the nosy neighbor and you're going to just be stuck under this mind control and available whether she needs her later in the future. And this is how I know that Agatha is going to come back is because they didn't kill her and they base she ba Wanda basically says, well, if I need you, I'll know where to find you and turns her into Agnes again. And what I really like about this whole transformation for Wanda into really becoming the Scarlet Witch is it also represents her transformation in terms of accepting her grief yeah. and accepting uh, who she is. Like before that, I, Wanda was super emotional and well, not super emotional, but super broken. Broken and is it, the it, 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 it felt like she healed yeah. herself or she was healed. Yeah. Doesn't mean that she won't have scars, but it, she felt healed after this transformation and also accepting of what she needs to do in order to uh, make things right. Make things right. And let's give up and on so now. This is the ending, which is <laughs> oh, God. We, uh, we broke. We broke. This is this. This whole ending felt like. Um, if, if a meteor was hurtling towards Earth and we final all moments. knew that the end was near and it's just your final moments and there's something so like simplistic about it and something so just simple about the way they go about this. Um, Wanda, Vision, and the twins just walk home to their dream house. They just walk home. Wanda and Vision put the twins to bed. And they're just having this really nice moment. They take their all their superhero costumes off, and they're putting the twins to bed, and they're like, just talking to them. And Wanda says, "Family is forever. We'll always be together." And then, thank you for choosing me to be your mom. As they're, you see, do you see the <sighs> the red light coming in the distance? And they close the door. Then they go downstairs, and uh, she starts to turn off lights. Yeah. But Vision says no. I heard it's bad luck saying goodbye in the dark. And they have this moment. They hold hands. And he asks her, he asks her, um, just answer me this one question. Like, he's like, what am I? And did you, did you write the quote down? Oh, we should have done that. It, well, 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 yeah. she, well, she says, he says, what am I? She says, you are the part of the mind stone. That was me. And then she says some other things too. She and, said, you are the part of the mind stone. That is me. You are wires and blood and bone and my pain and my hope. And my, my love. love. And I oh my God. I'm standing in front of the window in the background. We can see the hex coming in close because she's closing the hex and everything's going back to normal. And it's, it, it, it is your garage right now. Baby. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and then it goes through. You can see him turn to yellow. They have their, their hands on each other. And he says, he says goodbye. This is the and it's perfect oof. finale. For this it was devastating to see and i hate watching stuff like this i hate goodbyes i hate like having to let people go um death is one of my like most like like my biggest fears is losing people I, I love and this is what's happening here and wanda has accepted it so this is like the five stages of grief right and this is mm -hmm. acceptance this is the part of acceptance and this was the reason this is so, such a great ending for the series is because wanda finally gets to say goodbye she didn't get to say goodbye to Vision before. It was all a very rushed thing. She was just, she had to kill Vision really quick. It was very important that she take them, you know, destroy the Mind Stone because of Thanos. And there was just, it was just action packed. And here they have a moment and she can, she just gets to say goodbye. And it's the goodbye she deserved. You know, she didn't get to say goodbye to Pietro. She didn't get to say goodbye to Vision. She gets to say goodbye to her boys and or her family, or I mean, her, her her mom and dad, anybody. And she and this she, is the first time she I didn't even well think about deserved. that. And we were all I was rooting for. I'm like, Wanda deserves Vision. Wanda deserves Westview, and I still think that. But I, she I deserved a proper goodbye, just as we all do, and we don't always get. And so it was just sadly perfect. And then. To end the episode, she walks towards the center of uh, the well, main hold on, square. Hold on. As as everything is like disappearing and vision disappears and like the hex is closing, um, Wanda is just left back as it was before she created the hex, and her dream house is gone. Her her and Vision's dream house is gone. It's just a, she's just on an empty lot, and she puts her hood up and goes and walks back into the. This, it, so she, yeah. she she walks back into the center of the town and kind of sees like not the aftermath. Cause I mean, there's no destruction, 
like there usually is after an Avengers yeah. level event because obviously the hex. Um, but she goes and she talks to Monica and yeah. she says, "You don't hate me." And Monica's like, "I would have done the same thing." Well, because there's you? there's clear because there's like, parallels. Yeah, and there's clear like with all the people in the town looking at Wanda. There's 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 some animosity. There's some animosity and yeah. some, and and fair fair. Yeah, Fair. You know, which I Valid. get. You know, when somebody ha- hands you a perfect world and then decides to just leave. And Wanda is, at this point, ready to deal with the consequences of her actions also. And so she's accepting these looks that she's getting. She's accepting that everybody's pretty pissed at her. Um, she turns into Scarlet Vision. But then what, Vision. what people need, what people who've been through really hard times need is just a little bit of human compassion and monica gives it to her monica yeah like you said monica basically says hey if i would have had the power i would have wanted to see my mom too and then this made me realize monica didn't even get a moment in this series that i wish she would have gotten of getting to just grieve her mother you know she blips back in and she realizes her mother's gone and her mother has died while she was gone while she blipped We're, out, and she didn't get a real moment to grieve that, and we didn't get to see that. No, I agree, and that's why I think it, it's kind of reflected upon Monica, because I, I think from the get go when we meet when we meet Monica as a character, yeah, she almost seems to have a death wish, you know, and I I completely understand. She just rolls in two places, you know, goes through the 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 into the hex, you know, without yeah. a, a second thought, because she doesn't care anymore, and it's interesting to see how she is developing and how she will develop further and in in this situation so so she's here we'll talk about her a little bit more later but um wanda turns into her amazing costume her scarlet vision costume and flies away scarlet vision (laughs) sorry perfect coin it man scarlet witch costume and flies away yeah and that's how season one ends well season this season one of his i i I would love a season two i don't know i don't know i i feel like if it feels right i would actually really like a scarlet witch movie i would too i just loved i just loved the show i loved having it having so much of it but so yeah the the episode ends there and then we have two um bonus scenes a mid-credit scene and a post-credit scene the mid-credit scene is is monica's scene it kind of sets up monica's journey into maybe captain marvel i fully expected to see brie larson here or you know you know to see captain marvel show up or even uh, Darcy, but apparently Darcy just gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we forgot Darcy. So Darcy, <laughs> Darcy's did. big moment is is Hayward is trying to escape, and Darcy rams her little ice cream truck or whatever into Hayward's and that's it military vehicle. That's it. And, and apparently she just gone. leaves. Darcy's okay. gone. Yeah. So that but was Darcy. That was a little and, sad. Um, Monica um, is brought into like this theater by by like an FBI agent or something like that, and the FBI agent like changes into a scroll. So the FBI agent is a scroll and basically says, "Hey." You're you're needed up you're there. Requested up there, and she points up to the up to space, and uh, she's like on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was there. I'm like, I'm going to the roof, <laughs> um, and and yeah. she's already been confirmed for uh, Captain Marvel too. Well, and we've we've gotten little nuggets throughout the series. This series that um, her and maybe Captain Marvel aren't on the best of terms anyway, and so yeah. it, it'll be exciting to explore that. And then we go into the post credit scene. Um, oh gosh, it was so gorgeous. Yeah, uh, I, I can tell. Th- I, I don't know how they filmed it, but they it's gorgeous because it's just this beautiful, beautiful mountain range that starts to, uh, you know, this water and we start to hone in on to this like little cottage kind of witchy looking house. It's like witch cottage core. And then we see she is Wanda's cottage core now. <laughs> it's witch- <laughs> she's like, this is my aesthetic. <laughs> she, she has like an old type stove and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, she, she, she definitely has like an Instagram or Pinterest account or something going on. And she's alone. But she doesn't look sad. She looks, it's because she's gone through her five stages of grief and now she's trying to like rebuild her life. And she is in, so we follow Wanda into the cabin as she's drinking her coffee. And then the camera keeps going into the back room. And in the back room, we see the Scarlet Witch going through the, the dark hold and get, gathering all of this knowledge and information. And so this is. I guess it was this astral projection, or was like I took. So that's what people said in the live. I took it. That was astral projection. Yeah, I took it as a Wanda. It's just Wanda's mind, kind of. We're like getting a visual representation of Wanda's mind, kind of studying the dark hole. But I guess. Well, I mean, that's that. That is what astral projection kind of would be. I don't know. 
uh, j just a more physical form of it. But she's going through the Darkhold, yeah. and she's doing a lot of like sorcerer supreme stuff, but in red like, at the same time, like just manipulating stuff. And you can tell that she's going through the Darkhold, and she's yeah. learning about magic. She's taking this time to learn about who she is as the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. And I know that she is going to be supposed to be at least in the multiverse, multiverse, multiverse of mad madness um, next yeah. year. And I'm very excited. I really kind of want a showdown between um, Scarlet Witch and the Sorcerer Supreme. Well, I think that would be an awesome. Scarlet Witch is, is more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, I know, but it'd still be really cool to see it. And then the the and then the end credit scene ends with guess who? The Charmed Ones. They come in. I was like, what? Piper, Prue, <laughs> Phoebe, and Paige. Like, All of them are just standing there in front of Wanda. Uh, I, I do want to say, because we didn't talk about... Well, the... let, let's correct that. You're just going to like accept that that's the answer for them? Well, Does yeah. That... No, Did no, you guys not see that? Happen. That doesn't happen. Okay, so what really happens is as she's like learning, she's reading the Dark World... Uh, she starts to hear Billy and Tommy's voices. Oh gosh, why did I forget that? I know you were really gonna let them go with the, the, with the charmed ones. <laughs> <Yo>, no, <laughs> I am That's the why sun. You're here. I am the <laughs> air. Okay. I am. And so she wanted to hear. <laughs> be now. Wanda like hears. <laughs> Billy and Tommy yelling out for her, Mom, Mom, Mom. So Billy and Tommy are alive, everybody. Or dead? I don't think so. I think they're, I think um, they survived and the hell? hex closing in uh, somehow. Well, um, in sp speaking of Billy and Tommy, it, something that we yeah. didn't talk about is Billy uses his power again in this one. And his power, just like the witches from the coven, is blue. It is. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Because you know, he's wicked. Well, because you have these the sorcerers from the Sorcerer Supreme, their power is all yellow, yeah. and then we have him uh, and those other witches whose power is blue. I, I I want and it makes sense that Scarlet Witch's power is scarlet, and, and I'm very Agatha curious about why Agatha's is purple. It, maybe she's like an, I, I think it's because she's a great character. It's a combination of blue and red, so she's not. Oh, I don't know. We well, say know. gray character, but there was never it was never proven that she was a gray character. In, because in she my didn't head, really she do any in my heart. In my heart. I don't know why I said my head. <laughs> and then we, and we end on the uh, Billy and Tommy yelling for their mother. And I guess that is supposed to lead into the multiverse of madness. And uh, yeah. Oh, this episode, this is, man. This episode. This show, it was definitely a roller coaster. It, I really loved being a part of this. Well, not. I felt like everybody was kind of a part of the show yeah. in a way in terms of like this, this experience that we all had together. And I really enjoyed it. Did you... Um, did you find the episode satisfying as a possible series finale? I found it satisfying. I, I, I think that, like we talked about, if we had 10 more minutes to spend on the external, uh, on the other characters um, that aren't part of the core family, I would have loved it. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I'm actually very satisfied. I think I am too. I think I'm satisfied with how it, how it came out. And like, you know, like we said earlier in the episode, the, 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 the fan, fan theories are fun. They're fun to come up with. It's fun to kind of figure out what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, the goal and the intention was for this to be Wanda's story arc. And I meant and that. Watch her go through her grief and deal with her trauma. And she did that. And I, that alone, bravo, Marvel. Satisfying, like so amazing. Love that Fair you drug. did this, and I am I am an MCU fan now because of this show. Because of this show, I am an MCU fan. Um, we did ask some of our our viewers who were watching along with us what they thought of the episode, and the majority of them loved it. Said uh, Scarlet Witch is the baddest witch. Um, they said uh, a lot of people said they were going to watch it twice. A lot of people just said that they can't wait to see what happens next with Wanda. Some people were like, yeah, a little bit disappointed. Um, some people said that the episode felt a little bit rushed. But for the most part, people seem to like it. So The consensus seems to be, at least with uh, yeah. our, our viewers, seems to be uh, pretty positive. So what do y'all think down in the comments? Uh, what did you think of yeah, the episode? Uh, did you like it? Did you were you middle about it, or did you absolutely not like it? Um, I saw <laughs> so last week, a little bit like close to last week, uh, the director of the series um, like made a statement that like some people weren't going to be happy with it because of all the fan theories or whatever. Uh, and fair. Uh, well, I remember seeing like everybody in the comments going, "Uh oh, another Game of Thrones ending," and I was. I was just like, uh, you're, that's that's a huge judgment. Um, 
I think we can all agree that the Game of Thrones final season wasn't the best, but I don't think this was even on par with that. I think this. Oh was, no! This uh, it's a, I, I, yeah. I don't think it compares. I, I just think that there's some people who really, really want something to happen, and when it doesn't happen, you know, yeah, like that's upsetting, and I think that's totally fair. You know, that's your own viewing experience. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's how you're going to interpret the show. Um, but I, I'm, I'm also pretty curious as yeah. to, um. Uh, what you guys want to like where you guys think that this is going for uh, Billy and Tommy and Vision and Wanda and Darcy and all those characters and how how you really want to see them and don't worry we are going to be covering the Falcon and the Winter Soldier in a very similar way as we did this time and yeah. ending uh, I'm not sure if we'll have more live watches but we'll definitely have one at the end the final uh episode of falcon and the winter soldier uh next week uh next saturday i will be putting out a video of uh what you should know before watching the falcon and the winter soldier if anybody's interested in that basically that's a video for me because i am i i, I have no idea no idea so he's making a video for me and you're, you're all gonna get <laughs> a, to watch it a, a so. video for me <laughs> i will be explaining to to my husband exactly yeah. what he should expect from this um <laughs> our camera is flashing so we do have to wrap it up now thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much uh please comment subscribe like ding that bell all that jazz and i shall see you next time at the urgent Some, another time when, isn't this so sad that it's over though Look, final note real quick isn't it so sad that this is just over or it feels it, like it feels it just feels it didn't feel is it, but is it over or is it a beginning I feel sad I, WandaVision is over for now and I feel very sad we're not getting any new episodes but I, I, okay. that's just the place to end <laughs> we'll it go, okay we're gonna go we're gonna go cry <laughs> <laughs> I did enough of that tonight already goodbye guys bye